Okay, any other questions? If not, back to the lecture right at 8 o'clock. Um, so supinated, hands out, bones are parallel. If we pronate, which means to rotate in, palm now facing the back of the palm facing out, or I should say the back of the hand facing out, the, the palm faces backwards away from the viewer, the bones now cross and it becomes difficult to describe each bone independently of position because you basically have bones that are two different positions. All right, so feet flat on the floor, arms downward, palms supinated or out, and then face is directed forward towards the viewer. So the face is directed forward towards the viewer or the observer. Now one note of caution. If I get into the anatomical position here, where is my right hand? It's over here. Where is your left or where is your right hand? It's over on this side. So the observer, you are always going to have your directions switched. Now, for some of you, it's not a big deal. If you're as dumb as I am, you got to really think about it. And normally, I have to just turn myself around and like, like I'm doing something else. Like, yeah, so your right hand. <laughs> so directions are switched. Left appears on the right. So just be aware of that. I could give you a picture and I could say describe the position of you know such and such joint, the right side. And you might circle it over on the left side because that's your right and then it will be wrong. You definitely don't want your surgeon coming in and be like, okay, so we're gonna go into the right side of the abdomen. <laughs> no, that's your right. I can't find his appendix. Well, it's because you're looking the wrong part of the stuff. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's the anatomical position. This is where we always start when we're dealing with any sort of description. This standardizes it. So we can describe things from the same relative position every single time. Uh, now, in addition to the anatomical position, we also want to have some references that we can deal with. And the references that we most frequently deal with, uh, especially in terms of movements and things like that, are going to be in anatomical planes and their associated axes. 